Southern Oregon, the community out here is doing amazing things and they're making really great quality wine. It's still really learning what all it has to offer. And I think what we're finding is that there are more varietals that can grow here than most people would think and they grow in a great quality. I am a certified sommelier. I've been in the wine industry for over a decade, starting down in Napa Valley and working my way up here into Southern Oregon. Napa Valley really helped me kind of grow my knowledge, establish my understanding for wines both here nationally and internationally. Getting in at kind of that grassroots level and really watching it grow has just been really fun. We're really starting to tap into and hone in on what does really well in Southern Oregon. Harry and David wines are unique in that we're sourcing fruit from throughout the state of Oregon. So we're hitting different microclimates and terroirs from you know Southern Oregon to the Umpqua Valley to Northern Oregon. Our wines are unique in that it's Oregon, but we're all over the state, which is really, really great. For me, as a grower, knowing that I have the knowledge I have that I was able to infuse into Harry and David into that program and just kind of help move it along, it's great to have that partnership and know that we're working with high quality winemakers that are putting our grapes in and appreciating all of that we put into it too. We started the vineyard because we had a passion for wine, my husband and I, and I was working at Harry and David, and I started getting into wine more and more and had more of an interest, and then when Harry and David decided that we wanted to offer a, a private label wine collection, I jumped all over the opportunity to kind of get involved in that. We currently do all of our wines here from Oregon. We work closely with vintners and work with fruit from Willamette, Umpqua, and Rogue Valley to really highlight different varietals. We kind of have a big playground that we get to work with. And then also, we're really working hard on curating custom gifts and really building these gourmet entertaining where the wines are selected to pair really nicely with the food that comes with it. When we started the wine program in 2012, we were trying to figure out what do consumers want? And we kind of dabbled with pre-packed wine gifts where we selected the wine for the consumer based on what was inside the basket. And then we also gave the opportunity for consumers to pick their wine, which we call add-ons, where they can add on a bottle of wine to a gift basket or a box of chocolates that doesn't already have it. Both of those were successful for us, so we continued that and, and we still have it available in our assortment today. We started to dabble into herrings and things like that where we really focused on the wine and the food together. So Ellen, our wine manager, has been doing a really great job at kind of pulling all that together for us. And we're always thinking of new products to offer. So we're not gonna stop here. Uh, we're definitely gonna keep going, but there's definitely a large assortment to choose from. I get to work really closely with our winemakers, really come up with the profile of our wines, and I get to then move it into gifts and, you know, putting a smile on people's faces and being able to do it through wine is, is super exciting. We have a good wine team at Harry and David. What I'm proud of is that our team really works together, and that's the only way that it will work for us. I think that's what I'm the most proud of.